Algebra 1, Unit 2B Study Guide, numbers 1, 2, and 3. So in these problems, we're going to write and graph inequalities. And this is using an inequality when you have a number situation with a range of answers. So number 1 says write an inequality that best represents this statement. So the sum of a number, well, we know that sum means add. When we have an unknown number, we'll use x. So we have the sum of a number, x, and 12. So x plus 12 is less than, and so the symbol that we use is an arrow pointing to the left, less than 39. So that's the inequality that will reflect that statement. On number 2, we want to write an inequality that shows the difference. So when you see difference, that means subtract of a number. We'll just call it x and 6. So the difference between a number and 6, so x minus 6, is greater than or equal to. So now we're going to have the arrow going the other way, greater than, and then to show or equal to, we'll put a line underneath, 16. So that's the inequality that would reflect that statement. And then on number three, we're going to work backwards. So we're going to look at the graph and then write the inequality. So we see a solid circle at one. So that means we're going to have an equal to mark. This area here represents x, the shaded area. So that means all this area is less than or it can be equal to 1. So your variable is the shaded area. Since the shaded area is below 1, that means it's less than. Since it's a solid dot, that means it's equal to. Now let's go ahead and... Um, no, I think that's all we need to do on numbers 1, 2, and 3.